Is it all about sex and just a girlfriend for hire and then return home to humiliate black women in America? I can cook, I can clean. Uh oh! Yeah, see, this is why I came to Thailand to find a traditional woman. Uh oh! See, in the United States, oh. women don't cook and clean. Oh! All they do is complain. And we don't got time for that. That's why I got my passport and I left. In the world of dating, there's a new community that is rising up from the ground. This community of mostly black American men are flying to other countries getting into a relationship with those women. And by definition, people have called this community the passport bros. And by definition, these are men who have chosen to seek out foreign women, typically from other countries, for a relationship. These men believe that dating in the West is dead and Western women are the bad apples. And that by seeking out foreign women, they can find a more submissive, authentic, and a more harmonious woman. They believe the women in America are the worst in terms of attitude and morals, so they fly to Thailand, Mexico and Brazil to find their submissive queen, the belief of the passport bros. But a problem with US women, number one is, we've talked about this a lot, masculinity, okay? When this, I'm not gonna get too deep into this one, but just one thing, I don't like it when women call me bro. The religion of passport bros is extremely tired of American women. In fact, they are frustrated. They believe there's a decline of submissive women in America and they're nowhere to be found. After a long day at work, the passport bro may want to come home to a nice sweet dinner, maybe have his feet rubbed, but the American woman does not want to do any of that. Yes. You know what? All right, bet. We're done. We're done. I swear. Bro, You're so done. ungrateful. You're so ungrateful. I'm taking Bro, all this stuff back. Just do better. Just do better. No, no, I'm taking all this stuff back. I need to be treated like a queen. I'll go get this to another female. I'll take all this stuff back. Just leave it. Just leave it. Just leave it. Move. M move. Just do better. Move. I'll eat my. Babe, it's constructive criticism. Just constructive criticism? You're ungrateful! Just do better! Yeah, you're ungrateful. You're an ungrateful little shit, and that's what you are. I'm getting tired of this. You're never happy. What kind of Valentine's Day But you're never you happy. Did? You're never happy. Just you're be never honest. happy. You would like it if you were a girl and you got all this? Yes, I would be happy, because there's people out here that ain't getting this. They're not getting that. God. I just spent I too much money. Better. You know what? I just spent way too much money. I should get the rose, the rose, like the big old thing. You give me like five roses and there's like no money in there. There's no money in anything. You didn't give me any money. All right, Reza. You know what, Reza? So the passport bro flies to Brazil, Mexico, or even Thailand to go find that sweet, submissive woman. The ones that will rub their toes and even make them feel good in the head. In the United States, women ask for a lot. Um, a lot of U.S. women will put down foreign women and say that they're so broke and poor. But the country I was born in is the same country that a woman will call you just to take you on a date just to eat a free meal. That hasn't happened to me overseas. In their mind, the West is full of women who are queens but also want to play the role of a king. To the passport bros, you're more likely to find a needle in a haystack than a submissive woman in the West. With there being social media nowadays, we can look into the lives of others. We can look inside the lives of someone who's in Brazil or someone who's in Korea. So when these passport bros see these women in faraway lands, he becomes determined to find one. Now, the passport bro is in Brazil, but won't the woman in Brazil be the same as the woman in America? Psychology wise, I feel like all women are the same. 50 grand a year puts you in the top 1% of the world. So as an American, you go somewhere to another country, you have enough excess income to eat out three times a day in Brazil or uh, Thailand or Colombia. You can eat out three times a day. So whoever my wife is, She's not even gonna be cooking anyway. This is the story of Austin. He recently just became a passport bro, moving from the United States and now in Thailand. He has found himself a girlfriend in Thailand and through his YouTube vlogs, he appears to be living that life. He shows how his Thailand girlfriend cooks for him, how she plates his food and puts it on the table, the trips he takes with her and how she feeds him food. But even at times, this girl seems uninterested in this relationship and it seems like she's doing it all for money. 
you know, all because Austin is American. And to look more into the perspective of the average foreign woman, let's look at the story of Shelly, who is a Colombian woman. She grew up in the loud and vibrant Colombia all her life. From childhood, she had seen the slums, the trenches, and all the bad Colombia could offer. But she's willing to get out of Colombia by any means necessary. As beautiful and exotic Shelly looks, she's very cutthroat. She will do anything for a bag. One day, she sees this American guy who took interest in her while on his trip. To Shelly, this is a dream come true. She's about to pack her bags and have this dude help her get to the States, even finesse him for some dates. To Shelly, this guy is a way out of her environment and a better life. The story of Shelly describes my viewpoint on how most women in this third world countries look at these American guys as checks. It's just a free bag to them. And I could also guarantee you Shelly isn't looking at all the men in her countries who are right where she is in terms of her income or even social class. It's the same with America where women date up. So if Shelly, the Colombian woman, sees this American guy, you better believe, you best believe that she's hopping on that train. And this could be the case for Austin's girlfriend, where he's been used as a meal ticket, basically the same thing he ran from in America. Are Western women angry? Due to the gender war in America and the passport bro community being filled with many black men, majority of black women have found this to be very unsettling. Let me tell you, they weren't even on my radar. You brought it up to me, and then I saw it, and I was just like, oh, that's cute. You know, guys go and get their passports. My son just got his passport last week. He's nine. So that's cool, passport brothers. That's what's up. Then I start doing the research, and I'm like, wait a minute. Because I grew up, you know, with two-parent household. My parents still happily married. How I grew up in love. Some people grew up in survival mode, and maybe they just in a whole nother dimension of trying to find love or trying to find easy situations and everything. But at the same time, it was like, why do you have to put down the thing that you don't like in front of everybody just to get the thing that you do want? I don't care. But that being black women in America putting yeah. them down for women who may be of color in another country. Right, that want to be a little more. also submissive exactly. to them. Exactly. There's been some Asian women who defended passport bros, adding on to them calling black women jealous. I think these women are just jealous seeing their, uh, uh, this Western guys that having a good life. Like yeah, happy, happy, happy. Yeah, yeah and, that's true. And then they can they can give that to their own men. Oh yeah. God. Is it? It no have to be wise. Is it? Is it our fault? Well, it's not know. our fault. They didn't even say yeah. that we steal their men. No, you know, no, we don't steal your men. Do your yeah. men come in here? Yeah. So they even said that we steal their men. Oh, yeah. We didn't put lotion in their food yeah. or anything. They're yeah. just in love with our natural beauty. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Many have labeled the Passport Bros movement as sex tourism, saying that Passport Bros are using these women just for sex. Which it could be if their intentions are just to go to these countries just for sex. But if we're gonna label this whole thing sex tourism, we need to look at the woman in Gambia hooking up with kids for love. Giovanna is Italian. She's 33. She fell for Edison, who's just turned 18. If we're gonna talk about passport bros, we should consider these women who are pretty much doing the same thing. Is this the love of your life? Muy grande. Yes, I love him. I love him a lot. Apparently, Gambia had become a haven for older women who were seeking a lover or a partner for many years. It's a sex hotspot for mature women from Britain and Europe. It's gotten so bad that even the Gambia governments have warned old white women to stop visiting the country and stop using these kids for sex tourism. But being a passport bro won't come easy as there's been some underlying consequences behind this. The consequences. Like this passport bro who got robbed and drugged in Colombia. We're dancing in the apartment and we're drinking. We have beers. And then one of the girls offers me a whiskey and a Coca-Cola. Now, I prefer rum and Coke, but she gave me whiskey and Coke. It's not a big deal. The next thing I remember is waking up at 10 o'clock the next morning. My cell phone, I had two cell phones, one Colombian number and one American number. My cell phones were gone, my credit card that I had on me was gone, and my cash was gone. 
The guy from Great Britain woke up probably around the same time as me, and he also realized most of his stuff was gone too. I think a computer and some cell phones. What else was missing was the girls. The girls were gone, okay? They were professional thieves. If you come to Medellin, if you come to Colombia, be careful. Be careful. Or this Passport Bro who got scammed in Brazil, leading him to quit his entire Passport Bro's adventure. Certain times you just have to do what's best for you. You're gonna take care of business, you're gonna take care of what's happening. You know, I'm not leaving um, Dominican Republic messy. Basically, I told the attorneys, listen, I'm not paying you no who gobs of money to prosecute a motherfucker. I'm not doing it. Three or $400 for you to file the paperwork, I'm good with that. You talking over that, kiss my ass. So I got robbed by him, so now I gotta get robbed by you. And I got a prosecutor who won't do his fucking job. I'm out. Keep this motherfucker. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. But you better pray your girlfriend never finds out you've become a passport bro because you might see hell on the plane. Or in this guy's case, being a passport bro could turn out to be a success story. About midnight, you want to take your passport and just sort of wiggle it around like this, sort of wave it around. <laughs> Hello, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Before you become a passport bro, all my guys out there, please make sure you're outweighing the pros and cons. And while you're doing that, subscribe.